Hey everybody, it's Chelsea from Little Mountain Ranch Homestead and Theo and Aspen. And today we're going to be planting some onions. So we are planting onion sets this year. So the first thing about onion sets is they're going to come in a box when you order them with some holes poked on the side and right across the top it's going to say do not freeze open immediately so i didn't do that i didn't freeze them otherwise they'd be ruined but i picked them up from the store saw that i know this i've done this lots of times brought them home sat them aside and promptly forgot about them because i wasn't going to plant them for another week and a half after we got them box was closed up went and opened them up and this is what happens because you get moisture in there they start to grow which isn't the worst thing in the world you can still plant that in the ground and it's going to be just fine but also down a little bit lower some of them started to mold and there is a lot of mold in here so I probably lost about 20 of them per box which is a bit of a waste so yes lesson open box immediately like it says like it'll probably say on your box so we are using onion sets because I have had zero luck planting from seed. I don't know why, just hasn't worked for me. These little guys have. So basically what this is, this is an onion seed that's been started and then the producer plucks it out of the ground when it gets to about this size and then puts it in cold storage and then sells them again in the spring to lucky people like me. So, and the other thing is, is when you plant these, you kind of have a bit of a head start. For us in a shower gr growing season, this, this tends to work really well for us. So that is what we're going to be doing today. We're planting about 2,500 of them. Last year we did 500. That wasn't even close to enough. We really want to get to the point where we can eat off of this property for definitely all of our root stuff, all of the stuff that we can store, um, and all of our meat. So in order to do that, I need to get much better at estimating what it is that we need. But I think this will do it. We use a lot of onions, and for 13 people, I think 2,500. I hope 2,500 is gonna be enough. So what we're planting today is everything I plant, My the most important part for me about planting anything is its storage ability or its ability to be preserved in some sort of way. These babies store really well. So I got all um, three different varieties of onions. All of them are known for being really good storage onions. So these are, and they're also all um, certified organic. I order from a place called West Coast Seeds and they do um, heirloom varieties and organic seeds. They're really awesome. I've been ordering from these guys for, I think about six or seven years now and never had a problem. They're great. So I'm doing a yellow, these ones are a yellow storage onion, a red storage onion, and a couple boxes of white ones. These ones grow really, really big. They're quite sweet and they store really well. So that's what I'm gonna be planting today with the help of my daughter who's behind the camera, Caitlin. She's gonna be um, helping me get all these in the ground. All right, let's get going. All right, so if you didn't notice this already with my videos, I'm not exactly a person who worries too much about the details of things. It's sort of the bigger picture that I'm looking for. And that very much holds true when it comes to gardening. I just do it, put seeds in the ground, water them, I don't, I'm, I am an organic gardener. I use organic seeds. Don't use chemicals and things on my garden. Um, so that part of it I'm, I'm particular about. I don't want to have any crap in my, in my um, food. But as far as how the actual planting grows, I just kind of wing it. So um, one of the things you can do when you're planting in your garden, and this seems to work really well for a lot of people, is use stakes to mark your aisles. So with onions, the sort of standard rules, you want your rows to be about 12 inches apart. So that looks about good. <laughs> so, and then each of your onion seeds or sets, depending on where you're living and what you're planting, you want those to be about five to six inches apart. That seems to give them enough space to grow. You can see like so. Uh, that works, but one of the ways you can get your rows nice and straight, if you have a nice and straight garden, which I don't, my garden goes on a curve and so this, this doesn't really work for me, but it works for a lot of people, is stick your stakes in each end like so. So you'd put one in each one and then put one on the other end of your garden and run a string and then you'll have nice straight lines. And that looks really nice. 
but mine just kind of goes whatever. So I use, this is, this is sort of my method for planting. So I take a stick, something like this, in this case, a handle, and I run, I guess I'll start on this side so you can see better. And I run my lines that I'm gonna plant in like this. Pull out any extra little things I see, chunks of grass, rocks, anything like that, and just run it along. Simple as that. And I do it as deep. In this case, you wanna go about an inch so it really doesn't have to be a big, deep trench. Just about an inch and you're good. And then again, along all your lines, make sure they're good. Nice and, you know, straightish. But again, don't get too carried away. So there's no point in doing it if it's super stressful and you're trying to make it all perfect. Just do the best you can. Nice straight lines. There's my next one. And again, like you can see, my spacing is not going to be perfect, but I've never had a problem, so I don't worry about it. Like so. And then take your little babies, stick them in. Always stick them in with the little root bud you can see there and the pointy end at the top, this part down, this part to the top. Stick them in. and cover them up. Super easy, give them a little pat. You don't have to be too firm about it, just a little bit of a pat. If your ends are poking out, you can see on this one down here, I don't know if you can see that, Caitlin, if you can scroll that one in. Caitlin's my camera lady today. There's a little bit of the top sticking out, that's no problem. That can be sticking out, so you don't have to worry about that. Stick them in, cover them up. And since we are planting 2,000 of these little babies, so for us, last summer, we planted one box. There's, we're estimating about 500 of these little guys per box. And that only lasted us till November. So since we need to make it about 12 months, we figure five boxes, about 2,500 of these little guys should do the trick. So. Here's hoping. chickens in the background look at those chickens oh there we go can we see them so <laughs> those chickens poor guys are gonna have to get locked up in the chicken coop at the run tomorrow because they are gonna end up stirring on taking all my seeds out and making a mess which is so sad because they seem so happy out here so we managed to get most of our onions planted we still have a box and a half left we just ended up having to go in for lunch. Everyone was getting hungry and tired and it was actually so sunny all morning, nice and warm, which was a nice change from all the rain we've been having. So we ended up doing three 60 foot rows and each row has five rows of onion sets in them. And that, so we're gonna have another, I guess we'll have another two rows probably before we're all done. So we'll get that done this afternoon or tomorrow and hopefully get our potatoes in as well. If we're gonna plant a whole bunch of potatoes, that's another thing that we eat a lot of over the winter time. So you can look forward to that video coming up. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.